This cop got a call about a box on the roadside, and he was stunned by what he found inside it. When one cop received a call on his radio about an abandoned box, he thought it sounded pretty bizarre. So he decided to check out the scene for himself, and what he found there would leave him astounded. Earl Hanners was the cop in question who took the call. He works as a deputy in the City of Atlanta Police Department in Georgia, and as part of his job, he naturally attends to all manner of incidents, from skirmishes to major accidents. As a result, Hanners felt it upon himself to respond to reports of a car crash just outside Atlanta. And Hanners remembers that day well. In part, it was because it was a scorching hot one with temperatures soaring to 87 degrees Fahrenheit. But there was yet another reason why the day would become so memorable for the cop, and it was all to do with what he discovered in a box. As Hanners was attending to the scene of the car crash, he heard a strange call on his dispatch radio. Apparently, someone had found a box on the side of the road. That item, moreover, had concealed a heartbreaking secret. As Hanners was occupied at the scene of the accident, another officer went to investigate the item. However, curiosity soon got the better of the officer, and he ended up visiting the scene himself. That's when he stumbled upon the most tragic scene. Namely, it seemed as if someone had used the cardboard box to dump a small puppy in the middle of nowhere in the relentless heat. The tiny dog had seemingly been through an immensely stressful experience at a very young age. Indeed, it was little more than two months old at the time. She was in a cardboard box and it was closed in, Hanners explained to the Dodo in June of 2017. A passerby saw the box and stopped and saw there was a puppy in it. So he opened up the box and laid it on the side and got some water for her, then he called 911. When Hanner's colleague had arrived, he'd alerted animal control. By the time Hanner's got to the scene, however, they still hadn't turned up. So the kindly police deputy ended up taking matters into his own hands. I told the guy to cancel animal control, Hanner's revealed to the dodo. He then informed his colleague that he was going to take the puppy to a vet and have her checked out. He subsequently transported the poor animal home where he could call a local veterinary surgery. However, in the car, it became clear that the puppy was not in a good way. Indeed, throughout the journey, she barely moved an inch. Dehydrated and far too hot, all she could do was lay beside the box and try to keep herself cool. So once the pair arrived at Hanner's home, he placed the dog, who he decided to call Bridget, outside in the breeze. We got her on the back porch, Hanner's revealed, and I called my vet's office and told them what I had. And while waiting for the vet to arrive, Hanners did everything he could to make the puppy comfortable. I gave her water and food and just let her kick back and relax and regroup from all the heat, he said. She ate about three or four bowls of food and water. Seeing little Bridget's fighting spirit was heartwarming for Hanners. Before long, in fact, the police officer had begun falling head over heels in love with the dog. As a consequence, he decided against handing her into a shelter and instead adopted the puppy himself. Thankfully, Hanners was already experienced when it came to dealing with down-and-out doggies. Indeed, when he wasn't busy with work, he helped to foster animals for a local rescue shelter called Hounds in Pounds, and crucially, he already had eight pugs of his own. So Hanners knew exactly what to do to help Bridget settle in with his other dogs. As a result, before allowing them to mix, Bridget received a full checkup and all her vaccinations. He also kept her in isolation for 10 days before allowing her in the household. Still, Hanners needn't have stressed too much. As soon as Bridget met his other dogs, they got on like a house on fire. We just introduced her to the other dogs in the house last night, Hanners revealed in the dodo. It just takes a day or two of watching and they blend right into the pack. In the meantime, police tried to find the heartless people who'd abandoned Bridget in the first place. However, their investigations proved to be fruitless. So all Hanners and his family could do now was focus on the dog's future. Thankfully, Bridget was able to put her traumatic past firmly behind her. With Hanner's help, in fact, she was doing well and beginning to enjoy life. And finally, she was able to experience love for the first time. She just loves to cuddle, Hanner said in his interview with the Dodo. It also turned out that Bridget was a big softie when it came to kids. She loves my grandchildren, he added. She's just a very, very sweet, loving dog. So while it's unlikely that those who dump Bridget will be brought to justice, at least the puppies found happiness. Moreover, although Hanner should never have gone to the spot where the dog had been abandoned, he found a new best friend in the process. Some things, it seems, are just meant to be. Please share this video with your friends below.